If you're about to go to university in a catered accommodation, this video is for you. Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Channel for Students. My name is Francesca and my aim is to help you have the best fresh start at university. So, welcome, welcome. Today, 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 Eloise, a girl who was one of my subscribers who started uh, following my channel last year, got into Exeter University and I thought it was super appropriate to interview her about all the things that she wished she knew about accommodation when she was in your position. So she went to Bergsgrange Village in the Catered and she's telling a lot and she's giving tons on info about catered versus self-catered, why she would choose catered, budgeting for catered and also tips for saving money as catered. So if you're interested in these topics, this is definitely the video for you. Before we dive in, I have three things to say. First of all, sorry, but it's gonna be super overexposed. Eloise, if you're seeing this, I love you so much. And I'm sorry, but I was, I'm such a newbie with the camera and it just took me like two years to get to understand what the overexposed thing did. So I'm sorry about that, guys. So it's super white and everything, but hopefully you will you will forgive me. The second thing is if you're about to go to uni, you definitely need my packing list. It definitely helps the people from last year. It incorporates people who want to just focus on the essential, people who want to just focus on my suggestions and therefore being slightly more comfortable, and those who are completely extra and definitely want to be 100% comfortable. So it's catered for everyone and I know you guys will love it. The third thing I wanted to say was my time management guide. Everyone needs some help in time management and my time management guide is something that I initially did for me in order to get to my goals and now that I've smashed so many of them, I know it will be helpful for you. So definitely check that out. Most importantly, I wanted to say that I do have an Exeter Freshers group. So if you're about to go to Exeter and you're sick of the promotion on the rest of the groups, my group is the only group that has only Freshers, exclusive content about Exeter University, especially about events. And now let's dive right into it. Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Eloise. Uh, I'm doing PPE, so that's Philosophy, Politics and Economics at Exeter, of course. Uh, I come from France and uh, I'm staying at Berks, at Berks Rail Village, and I'm in a catered accommodation. Are you catered or self catered? I'm catered. You're catered, okay. Yeah. So now that you've been here for a month, would you still stay in catered or would you go self catered if you could go back? For sure, I stay in catered accommodation. I have uh, some of my friends are in self catered accommodation and they have like struggles to cook every night and it's really also quite expensive. And I feel like when you're in catered, catered accommodation, you always have your lunch with people. So I like the social part of being catered. You always have breakfast and dinner with somebody and you get to know your flatmates better and everything. So I really like the catered accommodation. Uh, and I feel the, um, the food is also really good. Like there's a really wide range of things you can eat. If you're vegetarian, if you, if you don't like, I don't know, you have a, a lot of different choice, choices. So yes, I would recommend going in cater because you just don't have to worry about your food and you can meet your flatmates and have a social, like a conversation and at night or for breakfast, it's really nice, yeah. You are in catered, therefore, how is your flat? Uh, well, my flat, uh, I, was a bit, I was quite surprised by the size of my room because it's quite big. You have, I have a double bed in Berks, in catered, so that was really a plus for me. I wanted to have a double bed just to like, feel comfortable. Uh, and I have a big desk, like I really have a lot of place. Uh, I knew everybody like in in Berks have a big, yeah. big uh, desk, but in other accommodations they usually don't. So it's really good about it's a really good point about Berks about being at Berks. Um, otherwise, yeah, there's uh, plenty of uh, places where you can put your things, so you won't like you won't have to bother about uh, storage. Storage, exactly. Yes, so there are plenty of places really. I was I was a bit afraid of uh, not having enough space to put my clothes because I came with like two really large luggage, um, but a suitcase. But that's not really the case. Like you have plenty of storage, so don't worry about that. So you're in catered. What's the budget for catered? 
So I'm in Cato, so I have uh, my breakfast and my dinner is... Uh, covered. Covered, yes. So uh, I don't have to spend a lot of money in my food. I just like spend, I would say like seven, I would say like five pounds a day on food because I like to buy a sandwich. I don't really usually do that on my own, but mm. if you want to save money, just do your sandwiches for your lunch on your own and it will be, it will be cheaper. But I usually like buy my sandwiches on campus and uh, I love coffee and so I take a lot of coffee like sometimes twice a day so it's quite expensive but you don't have to spend your money like that. But I would say you just have like to save um, five pounds a day for, for your food and not much more. What about phone and going out and all that okay. stuff? Um, during the first months I spent spend a lot of money, like too much money on uh, night outs because I basically went out like five or six times a week. That, that's what you're going to do during like the first month because you don't have a lot of work and you have so many so things going on and you want to meet a lot of people so you just go out every night. So I spent a lot of money on drinks, on um, tickets for clubs mm -hmm. and just like on I don't know, sometimes I went out just to eat with my friends, even though uh, my meals were catered. So yes, uh, I would recommend you to like, if you're drinking alcohol, I would recommend you like to maybe buy your alcohol from home because it's cheaper or just like don't drink too much alcohol because it will cost you a lot of money. In the club. And yes, don't drink your alcohol in the club, of course, don't buy your alcohol in the club because it's so much expensive. Like, you don't need to be totally drunk uh, for going to clubs, but I would recommend you to buy your alcohol before going to clubs, drink before, and never buy anything in clubs. Warnings and saving tips? So my first saving tips will be to make your own lunch and don't buy things on campus. I do it because it's just easier and you can choose uh, your food when you feel like eating something uh, more than uh, I know. So yeah, just uh, make your own sandwiches. Uh, my second tip would be not to buy drinks uh, in clubs. And uh, my third tip would be for saving more money, for saving money, not to sign up to too much, too many societies. Thank you so much, Eloise, for everything you said. You are so incredibly helpful and you've been a, a gem to work with and to be with and to talk to since day one, since day minus 10 actually, when we uh, met online. You are amazing, I love you so much guys. This is why I do my YouTube channel. I have met so many incredible people. The people from the comments of last year became reality when I met them in Exeter and the bonds I've made with these people is just unreal. So. I couldn't be more grateful for this channel, I couldn't be more grateful for this community and I love you a lot. So if there's any doubts about the, about uni that you need help with, guys this is your channel and it's made for you to ask your questions so that I can help you the best way I can. I love you very much guys, big love, Mwah. bye.